Merry Christmas! Oh, I can't tell you how good it is to see all of you here and uh, to witness what's happened already once today in their dress rehearsal. Uh, the kids have an amazing program for you, and I have to just, as we start out, say a word of thanks to uh, Mrs. Allegra Brosh, who's directing, and we have a lot of other support staff and teachers and that, but she's put a lot of work in tonight. It's pretty awesome. And I just, I know you're going to be blessed tonight by this, and there's the obvious cute factor, because somehow you guys had adorable children, and they look great. Um, but hopefully there's a little bit more than that tonight. Uh, as we think about what we're celebrating, the story that will be told is a story about Jesus Christ, and it's what everything is about here at Bethlehem is life in Jesus Christ. It's something different and it's something more. And I know, you know, many of you may have a, ch a church home somewhere else, but if for some reason you're not connected to a ministry, we're, we're more than just a place to send your kids to school. Uh, this is spiritual community. And it's a place for you to call your family as well. And I'd love to connect with you uh, on that. So just welcome tonight. I pray you're blessed by this. The hard work's going to pay off. I know you guys have done a great job. Uh, we are doing a video of this. So it's like, oh, I wish I had my video camera. We We've got a video that'll be made. Uh, there'll be some opportunity at the end of the program too, just to show your appreciation for all that's going on. But let's let's set the tone right tonight, and let's start with a word of prayer and ask God to bless all that's happening tonight. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, I just I just thank you for the privilege it is to be in a place where in our school we can proclaim the name of Jesus, and where we can focus in the midst of everything else that's going on and the hope and life that we have in Him. And so I pray, Lord, that you would unleash the hearts, the lips, the voices of the kids tonight to praise you and help us with hearts to hear it and believe it and to know that you are our life, our salvation. Thank you, Lord, for these gifts and the thanks, Lord, for the opportunity to use them for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings to you tonight. Merry Christmas again. Merry Christmas. Okay, boss, where are we headed on this fine Christmas Eve? Oh, these holiday assignments are always so exciting. I hope it involves singing. I just love the singing assignment. Okay, okay, just let me get this thing open here. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, what do you mean by wow? What is it? Singing? Is there singing? Oh, there is singing, all right, but there's a whole lot more, too. Well, tell us. Don't keep it in suspense. Okay, so do you remember that whole nomad the end thing from way back? It's a little like that, but without the animals, and the baby, and the shepherds. I am so confused. Yeah, me too, but as long as I can sing, I'm fine. So where are we going? We're going to Hotel Noel. Okay, everybody, I think we've got everything. Hop in and we will be on our way. Yay, Chris is the Grandma's house, my favorite road trip of the whole year.
are getting pretty slick. Do you think we should pull over? Maybe so. Can you check the GPS to see how far it is to the nearest hotel? Sure. Those snowflakes are huge. All the snow makes it feel even more like Christmas. All the snow also means we might not make it to Grandma's tonight. What? No, Mom, that is not an option. Yeah, we just have to make it to Grandma's tonight. It will be Christmas if you aren't there and we wake up in the morning. Oh, it'll be Christmas, but it might not be the Christmas you're expecting. Any sign of a hotel soon, Kara? <sighs> no, not for quite a while. Great. Wait a minute, look there. Do you see that sign? I see it. It says Hotel Noel. Oh, I really don't want to stay in a hotel on Christmas Eve. I don't think we have a choice, kids. Just isn't safe to keep going tonight. And it does seem pretty perfect that we'd find a place called Hotel Noel, don't you think? It's strange, though. It doesn't show up anywhere on this GPS map. Oh, well, it's here, and thank goodness. and welcome to Hotel Noel. Thank you. Boy, are we glad we came up on your hotel. That storm was getting pretty bad out there. We're so glad you're here. Hotel Noel is a pretty special place. We'll take good care of you. Did you know this place doesn't show up on the map? I couldn't find information about it anywhere. Oh, I know. We just kind of show up when you need us most. Huh? What? Hmm? Tell you what, let me introduce you to our staff and we'll get you settled in the room. This is Mike and Eli, our hotel managers. Hello. Gabe is our groundskeeper. Hello. And Gloria and Celestia are in charge of housekeeping. Hello. Hello, and welcome to our very fine establishment. Why, thank you. What a lovely voice you have. Hey, I have a question. With a name like Hotel Noel, don't you think this place will be all decked out for Christmas? I don't see a single decoration. Yeah, no lights, no Christmas tree, no presents. What's that all about? Well, you see, kids, here at Hotel Noel, we do Christmas a little bit differently. It might not look it like like it might not look like it, but Christmas is a really big deal here. Boy, you sure can't tell by the way it looks. Joey, don't be rude. Oh, it's okay. We're used to that kind of reaction to our little hotel. Tell you what, Gabe and Mike will take your suitcases to your room, and I'll get some hot cocoa ready for you. In the meantime, sit here and let Angela tell you all about Hotel Noel.
kids, it might not be so bad being here on Christmas Eve after all. No offense, Angela. No offense, Angela, but I still think you could have a few things here to let people know it's Christmas. I mean, the name is Hotel in the Well, after all. Oh, no offense taken, and I agree about living up to our name, Hotel in the Well, but do you know where the word in the well actually comes from? I guess I thought in the well meant Christmas. That is the traditional definition, Joey, but the word you know as Noel actually came from the French word Noel, which can be traced back into the Latin word Natalis which means birth. English, French, Latin. Hey, I'm on vacation from school. I don't want a vocabulary lesson. Young man, you had better watch your tone or there won't be any presents under the tree for you tomorrow morning. Well, apparently there won't be any way because there ain't no tree. No tree, no presents, no Christmas. I'm sorry, they're just really disappointed they won't have a big Christmas celebration to wake up to tomorrow morning. Who said anything about no celebration on Christmas morning? Yeah, we celebrate around here too. And we don't have anything against, against all those Christmas decorations and traditions. We just really get excited about the Noel part of Christmas. That's right, we love everything about Christmas. But there's just one thing that really makes us sing. me Christmas is really a birthday party? That's right. Like Gloria said, the word Noel comes from the word Natalis, which means birth. So on Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Staff, why don't you tell them how it all happened on that first Noel? Okay, this is from the Bible in Luke chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that censors to be taken to our own world, and our own town to register. Well, Joseph went up to town in Nazareth, in Galilee, to Judah, to Bethlehem, because the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went to the rest of Mary, was pledged to be married to him, and expecting a child. 
The time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to a son. She wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger because there were no guest rooms available for them at the inn. And while they were there, the time came for the baby the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to a son. She wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger because there were no guest rooms available for them. And while they were there, there were shepherds out in the field watching over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were ter terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. That's my favorite part. Wow, we sure can get distracted by all the other stuff at Christmas time and forget that we're really supposed to be celebrating Jesus. And that's why we're here. Just to remind you folks what Christmas is really all about. Jesus' birthday! Well, that and the rest of the story. The rest of the story? Yes, the rest of the story. The whole reason Jesus came here. You see, sin has separated us from God, and the only way we could have a relationship with him again was for Jesus to come and save us. Read some of those other verses. Okay, here we go. Romans says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And it tells us the rages of sin is death. But here's the good news. Christ demonstrates his own love for us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And so John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he heard gave his one and only Son, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And Romans 10 verse 9 says, If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in him, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now that's what makes Christmas something to celebrate. Wow. That really is what makes Christmas so, morning so special. Isn't it, kids? Yeah. Maybe we don't need presents, lights, or even a tree to make Christmas morning special. Maybe just remembering why Jesus came here is a reason not to celebrate.
Okay, kids, it's been a great day, but it's late and we do need to get to bed. Hopefully, they'll clear the roads in the morning and we can be on our way. For now, we have quite a bit to think about. Thanks for reminding us what Christmas is really all about, Angela. Of course, your room is right through those doors. Number seven. Here are your keys. Thank you, and good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, team, how do you think it's going so far? Great, I think they're really getting it. Me too. I know those kids weren't expecting a Christmas like this. But hopefully, they'll wake up tomorrow morning and remember what we talked about tonight. I sure hope so. Well, I guess we'll find out in the morning. Good night, everyone. Good morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, a Merry Christmas to you, too. And how did you sleep? I don't know about the rest of you, but I slept great. Me, too. Best Christmas Eve sleep I have ever had. Well, that's wonderful to hear. And kids, how are you this Christmas morning? Great, but don't you mean the snow owl morning? After all, that's what Christmas is really all about, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you do seem very merry this morning. I am, because there's so much to be merry about. Yeah! I feel like I woke up this morning merrier than usual. I think that's because we really do understand what we're celebrating this morning.
As much as as much as we'd like to continue the celebration with all of you, it looks like they've cleared the road and you can be on your way. That's great. I'll go get our suitcases from my room. I'll help. We can't thank you enough for your hospitality. This truly is a special place. Can we come back next year? Yeah, Mom, this is the best Christmas Eve ever. We'll see. For now, say your goodbyes. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. See ya. Merry Christmas. Bye. Well, I think our work here is done. Well done, everyone. I wonder where we'll be next Christmas Eve. I hope it involves singing. I suppose we'll be wherever someone needs a reminder of what Christmas is all about. Okay, team, we've got a birthday party to get to, and I hear it's going to be quite a celebration. Wonderful program! Yay! That's amazing! And fourth grade, you memorized all those lines? Way to go! <laughs> I know I've been blessed. Parents, I hope you've been blessed tonight also by this program and your students up here sharing the message of Jesus' birth. I'd like to have a special thank you for Mrs. Brosh. We know your heart and soul goes into this program tonight and we love you and thank you so much. So can we give this to you? It's the hugs, it's the hugs. <laughs> it is. We like to shower her with flowers. She likes flowers. So anyway, I just want to thank you for coming tonight. Um, we would like to um, release our kindergarten. But before we do that, at the door, you'll see a free will offering. That offering goes to support our music program here at Bethlehem so we can put on great shows and have props and all the good things that go with it. So um, we hope that you will contribute to our free will offering at the door just as you're leaving. And so we're going to release our kindergarten, our smallest ones first. And and um, parents that are kindergarten parents, if you want to head out to the narthex and get them, that way they're not getting trampled in the, you know, release here. But we're going to start with kindergarten. So kindergarten students, if you want to make your way. 